Hey guys, happy Wednesday, happy, it's, it's today's January 24th, and I know today's January 24th because tomorrow is Thomas's birthday, it's my husband's birthday. Um, but January feels like it is like the longest month ever. It literally feels like this month is never gonna end, but that is okay, right? Because as always, I don't want to say the sun will come out tomorrow because I don't know that we've seen the sun, but because it is a rainy, nasty day in Arkansas, but at least it's not ice and at least it's not snow. So we're going to go with that. My name is Amy Smith Hightower. I'm a ketogenic meal planner and mentor from Batesville, Arkansas, who has been, who's lost over a hundred pounds following the ketogenic diet since March of 2017. And I've helped 189,000 members in our community do the same. We offer free meal plans every single Friday morning that can come direct to your email. If you need those, always write meal plan in the comments and I will send you the link to sign up. They are totally free. No, it's a ninja tip. Guys, if someone tells you that they are giving you a 27 day meal plan or if somebody's um, advertising that, like that is a big thing right now. I'm seeing all over Facebook. Um, most of those are spam accounts. And most of those are going to have you input credit card information. Our, when you go to youcanketo.com to sign up, we will never ask you for your credit card information. So if any of that comes up, that's not us, just so you know. I um, had, I was working with a, um, one of my uh, keto clients this morning. Um, she thought that she was buying a meal plan for keto. What she got was like this. Not from me, by the way, and I know the site she got it from, but I'm not going to publicly say that, but uh, we went through and her, it had like regular oatmeal, it had cereal, it had all of these absolutely non-keto things. So my advice, if it says 27 day meal plan, skip it. Hardcore. Probably not real. Okay. So, but I thought that was super important information for you guys let me know in the comments below. If you're new, I would love to connect with you. If you're hanging out for the very hundredth time, I love to hang out with you guys too. I'm super thrilled and thankful to have you guys in my life. So today we're going to dig it. Yesterday I did a video on mindset here on the personal page. You could scroll up and you could go to, um, watch that one as well. If you want to catch it from yesterday, all the replays we leave up for at least 30 to 60 days, depending on what Facebook's doing. Um, but we will leave them up so you can go back and check those out. Best advice, go ahead and share this video straight to your own timeline. So just put the share that way. If you miss it, can't watch it all, you could go back. It's right there in your timeline and you don't have to scroll over mine to try to find it. So that is a great tip. Yesterday we started about, we started the series on mindset and every day this week, I'm going to do a Facebook live about mindset. But today I want to share three tips to help you take something that take, like when you're having a bad week, a bad week, a bad day, a bad moment, like how to change those, what to do when something bad happens to keep it from Deter 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 if I could talk, y'all, this might be much better, right? If it could help you guys, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks to how to change what happens. Like, you can't change what happens. But you can change what, re what you react to. Hey, Lisa! So you can change what happens to you. You, like, life is all about pivoting, right? You, we, I am a sports girl, and this morning, I have waited since Sunday on pins and needles for this week's New Heights podcast that dropped this morning. Um, Jason and Travis Kelsey, if you don't know that storyline, just go down the rabbit hole and hop on to the New Heights, um, New Heights podcast. I was waiting in pins and needles, like literally, and it was absolutely everything I dreamed up. But he was uh, talking about like just pivoting. And life and how we're always learning and growing and pivoting. We can't control other people's actions. All we can control is our reaction to those actions. Okay. So when, number one, when something happens, okay, when something happens that you consider bad, right? Take a step back, grab you a piece of paper, 
and write down what you think, what could possibly, instead of how you feel about it, like, what is it trying to teach you? It's not, oh, why did this happen to me? Phrase it as, how could I learn from this? And to me, that's been huge. Like, I have went down the rabbit hole. I've been there, done that. A poor pitiful me. Everybody comes at me. Everybody does this to me. Oh, poor Amy. Yeah, well, guess what? As long as that was my mentality, I was going to allow that. And it was going to continue to happen over and over and over. Because, guys, I'm just like you. I felt that way. I felt personal. I still... We'll get on edge and feel like I'm personally attacked by something somebody puts on social media or by something so-and-so says about me when I'm not in the room or etc. Guess what? It still bothers me, but if I let them control my day or let, let that, what they say about me, affect who I am and what I do, how is that fair to someone else who needs me to be positive? Who needs me to show up online? Guess when I show up online, it's not for me, it's for you. Because guess what? I want to help. I want to make an impact. And it's just like I said yesterday, darkness can't push out more darkness. Only light can. So once again, that tip in case you missed it in my rant. <laughs> I don't think it was a rant. I think it was an educational response, right? Um, an emotional educational response is think about what it is trying to teach you instead of why did this happen to me? That's number one. Number two, okay? Number two, when something happens, let me say hurt people hurt people, right? If someone is content and happy and ha is fulfilled themselves, they don't go around looking to hurt people. Let's lead with grace. Instead of taking it so personal when someone puts something or even when someone says something, you have to take it as, okay, hurt people hurt people. So what can I do to protect? Yeah, I'm not saying by any means, guys, if you let me be very clear on this. If this is not about allowing people to hurt you, it is just about allowing a little bit of grace. Meaning, this is going to kind of go into step two, or step three, I mean. And I'm going to go ahead and add this. Step three is this. You guys ready? You might want to write this one down. In any of you a second, let's write it down. Okay. Number three is so important. I'm going to start crying as I'm like trying to get this out. Like we just talked about hurt people, hurt people, right? So number three on that is going to have to be, you have to step back and understand that you do not have to accept every fight you're invited to. If you guys heard that before, give me some feedback if this is helpful, not helpful. Let me know. Um, there's not a whole lot of people on, but I'd love for you guys to comment and stuff if you're on. And don't forget to share this out because if you share it out, um, we do do prize packs. I'm actually going to get some of those out in the mail today. Pretty excited about. Okay, but you do not have to fight. You do not have to accept every fight you're invited to. Because I am very Southern and I'm very much from the South. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out there, guys. Ready? I think the Southern grandmas had it right. When somebody comes at you and you, don't, you know it's not a fight you want to accept, this is where they came in with bless your heart. Right? Bless their heart. I mean, in true Southern fashion. Because guys, like I said, hurt people hurt people and you have the power absolutely not to go and accept every fight you're, every fight you're invited to. And guys, that could be on so many levels. Do you ever see kids at 
the bus stop or when you go to pick your kid up from school or whatever that I, you know, might have a blue shirt on with camo pants and some other kind of something that totally does not match. I guarantee you, well, number one, as long as they're weather appropriate, I guarantee you that that was some battle that a mother chose not to fight that morning because she picked her battles. And picking your battles and not accepting every single fight that you're invited to, take a lesson from those moms. Because guess what? If that kid wore those camo pants to school, gave that mama five minutes of peace that morning instead of a big fight, I'll go buy them seven pairs if they want to wear them every day of the week. That is not a fight I would be willing to take every day. As long as they're clothed, as long as they're warm, as long as it's not inappropriate, that is a fight. That, But you know what? It may be a battle that some mom really wants to take on. And she may let something else go. This goes back to yesterday. Quit judging other women. Just stop. Like, we are so hard on ourselves and every woman. People are out all the time looking to pick those fights. Because hurt people hurt people. Only you, only me, only the life that we have, guys, can make that better. So even though that wasn't just three steps for mindset for keto, it's like I was saying, those are three absolute ways to help your mindset, to help your day be better, to help you face stuff head on and continue to keep a positive outlook. Because if you can keep your cortisol level lower, which is your stress, um, I absolutely hate going to the doctor or someone, or anything, when it says, oh, try to avoid stress. Well, no crap, Sherlock. We, don't we all try to avoid stress? I mean, I get it. Like, we all try to avoid stress, right? But I don't know anybody that wakes up in the morning and it is like, oh, bring it on, bring it on. I, um, I want to do stress today. No. We all try to avoid stress, but until we teach each other and until we do better, like I cannot stand for that to be like, oh, avoid stress. No, change your mindset to how we handle the stress. That's what we do over here at You Can Keto. If this was helpful, let me know in the comments. I will be back tomorrow on here with some more mindset tips. This week is all about mindset. Then we're gonna do a sleep week and gut health the next two weeks. So super excited. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Share this out. Tag your friends in the comments. Let them know that we're going to stick together and we are not going to attend every fight we're invited to. Thank you guys. See you on the inside at You Can Keto.